welcome back to another video by Mr. Project. Before we kick the video off, I just want to give a massive shout out to uh, Joe. He's down in Nowra, um, that's where he's based, and he hand makes all of these cover plates. Have a look at the shine in that, that is just it's awesome. I'm going to show you what they look like on the car. Um, if anyone wants to grab a set of these, pretty cheap, I think they are 90 bucks. He's got an online store on eBay, check him out, also sells them on Facebook. Let's put them on the car and uh, see how they look. We send you out some dome nuts and some what are they, spring washers to go uh, go with this. So everything looks should look good. What these covers cover up is the strut tops. They are going to sit pretty much like so, and they're going to cover them up. We'll get them on and we'll have a look. How good do they look? Look, that's the strut top cover. That's the other strut top cover. And that right there is the uh, master cylinder cover, which absolutely looks mint. It looks that good that I actually went out and I had to buy a second set for this car. Look how good they look. You can't go wrong. They are friggin' awesome. So if you want a set, go and see Joe. He's on eBay. They're like 90 bucks a set. He will hook you up with a good deal. He's an Australian business and he does great work. So jump on there, get yourself a set of these. They look awesome. And uh, let's roll on through to the video. In this video, as you can see, the catch can is all mounted, all painted. It actually turned out really good, exactly what I wanted. Got all the lines fitted, everything's done. We do have some sort of exhaust leak. So I'm thinking it's out of the V-band, if not, pull it off, re-weld it all up. And while I'm doing that, I have this O2 sensor. So I'm gonna pick a spot somewhere in here. Don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it. And then I'm gonna weld that in and plug it in. So let's start doing that. One more thing to add, um, we're pretty close to paint. We've literally just gotta sand the car back. I'm waiting on a few things to come in the mail, like the bonnet cable, and we've got the struts. The car is full of parts. As soon as that bonnet cable gets here, we'll be able to put the bonnet back on, and then we'll be able to start sanding the car, get it in primer, get it ready. There'll be another episode on that. And then we just got to do the brakes and suspension, and pretty much we can roll it on into the paint booth and get it painted. So that should be coming up very shortly. But until then, We'll continue on with this episode. Almost forgot to add, we've uh, tidied up the boot, put some new carpet, painted everything, made it all look nice, and we've got our battery finally in. Haven't mounted the battery box as of yet, but all the wiring's run, and the car starts and works perfect, so I just thought I'd show everybody that now this part of the job is done. So we're just going to pull this dump pipe out. She's a bit warm. Might whack that on there. Get her out. And uh, I'll tidy up this bench, we'll sit it up on that. The exhaust leak, I reckon, was coming from this welding splatter. So I've just got the whizzer here, it's gonna whiz that off, make that all nice and smooth. And then, on the top of the dump, right there we're gonna add our O2 sensor. back on and uh, start it up it's all back in the car looking good no leaks anymore it was just the uh, the v-band was sitting a bit off from the other one since that it is now fixed there's no more leaks and the o2 sensor works and there's no leaks around that so that's awesome next thing will be I'm not too sure 
I have the front springs ready to go in. Um, I'm just waiting on the bonnet latch to come. As soon as that comes, we can put our bonnet on and make sure we're going to have clearance for the throttle cable bracket. So we're just going to have to wait for that to come. And the rear springs, we're going to be an, end up putting those in very shortly. So next time you see us, we're going to be doing that. Well, would you look at that? I actually didn't film it, but I have the bonnet on. It clears everything in the bay. I'm absolutely stoked about that. We've got our new struts on, cables in, everything's done. Everything clears. Uh, on my car, I had to cut a lot of this ribbing out to make it clear. On this car, for some reason, I think it just missed the uh, throttle bracket, which is awesome. I don't have to cut nothing out. So we can literally close that. It is now Saturday night, so we're not going to be doing anything right this second. But tomorrow morning, I'm going to come out and we're going to start sanding this car. Not sure whether or not I'm going to put the springs in tomorrow or whether or not I'm going to start sanding the car. I guess you'll find out when I make my mind up. Get into that tomorrow morning. Well... It is time to now start sanding the car. I'm gonna put this up on a stand. And I'm gonna lay down my matte black and then I'm gonna start blocking the car. a big day it's now getting really late in the afternoon started this at oh it was early this morning and uh we've blocked most of the car started fixing up a few dints the way i want this car to turn out it's not going to happen in a day so i'm starting to get a bit tired i'm gonna call it a day pack it up and continue this into the next video Hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I certainly did enjoy doing all the work until I had to sand the car. And this job is just so repetitive and so just time consuming, and I just hate it, but 
I want it to be right. So we'll continue this into the next video and hopefully we'll be able to do the top of the car, do the passenger side, just get it all nice and straight and then we'll be able to get it in primer. But that just feels like it's such a long way away. So anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up, comment, rate and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.